Meghan Markle fears she may need a cesarean section, insiders say, despite coming up with an extensive birth plan to do everything in her power to have a normal, natural birth. The Duchess of Sussex is said to be nervous over the prospect of having to ditch her birth expectations at the 11th hour, which is a high possibility given her age. At 37, Meghan is considered a geriatric maternity patient and giving birth after 35 for the first time increases her risk of a troublesome labor. Meghan and Harry, 34, have come to the conclusion that giving birth at the Linda Wing would be too much for mum and baby, with the world's media camped outside the front door, and instead want a place which offers more privacy. A source told The Sun on Sunday. Meghan is nervous about complications such as an emergency cesarean and doesn't want the pressure of having to look immaculate on the hospital steps just hours later. Like any anxious first-time mom, she's worried about the birth itself. As she is over 35 she is considered a slightly older mom, which sometimes can lead to some complications. Meghan also has the added stress of the world's attention on her, everyone wants to catch the fist glimpse of the new royal edition. The Sussexes are set to move into their new Windsor home any day now as Meghan prepares to enter her final month of pregnancy. The couple had Frogmore Cottage extensively renovated to make it suitable for the soon-to-be family of three as well as Meghan's mother Doria Ragland, 62, who is expected to move in. And while Harry and his American wife have decided against having to face 23-mile journey to the Linda Wing at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington, they may not have completely shunned royal tradition. Sophie, Countess of Wessex, gave birth to both her children at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey, which may be on the couple's radar. Choosing this option would mean Harry and Meghan's drive from home would be cut to 16 miles and they would avoid the London traffic. The source added, she and Harry have decided that rather than go somewhere as public as the Lindo, they will allow Meghan to recover somewhere more private. They said the Duchess is keen to have a normal, natural birth in time and space to bond with her baby and avoid having to look good for the cameras. Meghan previously told a royal fan she and Harry expect to welcome their firstborn at the end of April or the beginning of May.